Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to create a simple registration system in Excel using form controls directly on the worksheet. In this video we'll see how to do that through a user form. Excel user forms are very powerful and allow to create the classical Microsoft dialog boxes. We can fully customize the forms and it's cleaner and more secure to request data through user forms. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and first we're going to add a user form template here. As you see, we have an empty user form template. We're going to change the name of the user form. We'll call it registration form, for example. And, and then we're going to add the different controls that we, that we want to have. Um, so we'll have some labels for the date, the name, and, and so on. Then I'm going to break down the date into three combo boxes for day, month, and year. And then we will add text boxes for the name, role, department, and manager. And we can rather change the name of each of the objects or, or the elements to easily refer to each of them while coding the macro. So that will be the combo day. And the same with the text boxes. So that could be, for example, TB name. Finally, we just need to add the command buttons. So I'm going to just add two buttons, one to submit the form. So let's change the caption here. And another one to cancel. That's a very basic form. You can add uh, additional controls as, as needed. You can also format the, the colors here, the back color of each of the elements or, or the back color of the, of the user form, uh, the front color, the borders, the font color, and, and so on. Now we're going to double click on the form to open the code window. And we're going to write some code to initialize the form. So instead of the click event, we're going to use the user form initialized procedure, event procedure. So I, I will remove that one. And this is triggered the first time we open the form. So what we want to do is we want to populate, for example, those combo boxes with the, with the months we choose from, the year, and the days. So, so that will be combo month dot list equals, and there are a couple of different ways to do it. We've seen that in the previous video, we can use the array function and write each of the months, or we can use the application get custom list contents with the list number four, which has the months of the year. Then we can add an array of years, and that's another way to do it with, let's, let's say starting in 2020, 2021, and so, and so on. Or if, if you want to add many more, uh, it's better to use um, a loop instead. But let, let's do it like this for now. And if we know the month and the year, we can calculate the number of days in that particular month. But as initially the form is going to be empty, let's just add days from 1 to 31. And now we're going to use another method, and that's the method add item here with the day. And we're going to close the loop. So this is going to populate the combo boxes where we can choose the date from. And probably we don't need to add anything else to the initial form. Now to show the form, we need to use the show method from another macro or procedure. And usually, we add that to a standard module. So I'm going to add an, an standard module here to the project. As you see, we have now the user form here. It's called, uh, we rename it to rec form, and a an standard module. And from this standard module, we will have a macro saying open rec form, for example, where we're going to say rec form dot show. So let's see how that looks like. And we have already the days here, and the months, and, and the years to choose from. 
We probably want to do that from a button here in the main sheet. So I'm going to add a button to, to call that macro and we'll call it registration form. And then we could have the, the data here or anywhere else, but let's put it here for now. So that's going to be the date, name, role, department, and manager, and any other information we, we may want to add. And we can, of course, have here any additional buttons to whatever other functionality we want to add to this and the data is going to be here. So now let's go back to the form and we are, we are going to work with the buttons now, but let's change the name first. So we're going to call this one command button submit and this one will be command button console. Now if we right click the button, we get the click event procedure by default. We have several other uh, events for, for a command button, but that's the one we want. We want to write some code that will run when we click the button. So, and what we want to do when we click the button is to read the information in the user form and write it to the worksheet. So with rec form, which is the name of our user form, we're going to assign the information to several variables. So uday, for example, will be dot combo day dot value u month and so on and for name it will be dot tv name dot value role and so on and then we're gonna add that to the active sheet so with active sheet or a specific sheet, you can refer that here. But first, we're going to check what's the last row with content in column C, because we have everything starting in column C here, as you see. So LR, or last row, is going to be in the active sheet. So I have a dot cells starting in the last row count in column C and Excel app row. And then we're going to have range C, which is the, the column for the date, and row LR plus 1, so the next available row or the next empty row. And the value is going to be U day. And, um, and depending on what format you want to have here, let's say slash u month u year. Then range d r plus one is gonna be the name and so on. and end with. And note that instead of using the variables, we could directly use this over here. But using the variables makes things more clear. And, and of course, we didn't declare, but we should declare the variables. Um, that would be a, an integer, and that would be a string, and those here would be all string variables. And finally, we're going to close the form, we do that with unload me. And we want to do the same for the cancel button. The cancel button on click is only going to unload the form. So let's see how that works back to the page here. So let's say 1st of April 2022, Andrew Evans is going to join as a technician and we get here the data and we can add as many users as 
joining the company or well this was this this example but um, this can be used for for anything one last thing we may want to do is to change the caption here of the form when we open the form we can do that also in the initialize uh, event here or we can also do it from from here so we say with rec form before showing the form we're going to change the caption to um, registration form and actually we could initialize each of the components also from here uh, for example the combo box we could say combo month we could populate dot list we could populate that here with an array or with the application get custom list um, and the combo year and the combo day as we did in the initialize event procedure so either way it works um, so for now we're just gonna leave it like this and of course here we're gonna end the width so now when we open the form, we have the registration form captioned here. And that's how we create a simple registration system through a user form in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.